I'm gonna let these go uh, in the shallow water. Let's see what happens. Oh no! Right over. Where are you? Oh no. Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, big day today. Got a lot to do. The work never stops here at the camp and today is graduation day for these little turtles. The grandest, they're baby grandest. Let me show you where they are. Uh, we have to move these guys out because they've gotten big and they're now large enough to go in the front. I want these guys to go into the front ponds. They are gonna be able to walk around out there do their thing, nibble on leaves, things of that nature. And uh, that should be really cool. So we've got a few of them in here. I'm gonna gather them up. And then I'm going to put our friend, the Mata Mata, in there, in that enclosure, okay? So the Mata Mata is gonna come out and he's gonna live in here for a little while until his new enclosure is done. Uh, these guys are gonna go on out. now. What is today? Today is an Ask Camp Kennan day. Uh, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently now. I'm actually going to be answering questions while I'm doing some work, uh, keeping things rolling here at the camp. And who knows when another Camp Kennan question will pop up, but there'll always be a question answered by some of our Patreon supporters. Uh, I'll drop them in as I'm getting things going. Okay, so. What is today's question? Hmm, today's question comes from Lisa Fektu. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Lisa Fektau? Fektau. Uh, she says she has an approximately 2,400 gallon pond with koi and a few different aquatic turtles there in Southern California. Uh, two of the turtles are male Florida red bellies. Although they are the same age, one has grown much larger than the other and is always after the smaller one inflicting wounds on his neck. Would adding a female help this behavior or is my only choice to rehome one of the males? That's a great question. Uh, you know what, it's, it's kind of tough when you're dealing with aggression. Now, if you are 100% sure that uh, your larger one is in fact a f uh, male, okay? Um, because usually Florida red belly males don't get that big. Uh, the females are actually the ones that get pretty large and they can be aggressive uh, to smaller turtles as well. Now, what I would suggest though for your situation is try a few things first. Uh, number one, a 2400 gallon pond is roughly about the same size pond that I have, I'm trying to catch turtles while I talk, uh, that I have out front and we'll be able to see that in a moment. And what I like to do is I like to create, um, what I like to do is create some visual barriers, logs, things like that. Try feeding the animals in different sections. This way they aren't uh, getting aggressive with each other. That's one of the solutions, uh, one of the things that you can do that has actually helped me out uh, in the past. So let's see, I wanna make sure I've got all of them. I got this guy, see how beautiful they look? Oh my gosh, they're so cool. There's only three of these guys left. So I wanna make sure that I've got everybody. Is everybody out? Looks that way. Everybody's out. One more look and then we'll keep going with that question. Lisa, I apologize. So um, basically, Lisa, uh, you know, you wanna make sure that you can curb that aggression because up oh, there, look at this, of course, there's always one little dude left. And that's it, there's just four of them. Okay, all right, so these guys are really cool little turtles. So they'll go out front until they get big. Uh, there's Lumpy, hi Lumpy. Uh, he's doing well too, by the way. They'll go out front until they get large enough to go in the main pond out back, uh, the large pond that I have here at Camp Cannon. Um, but anyway, Lisa, let's look at these ponds and let's show you uh, what's going on. Now, aggression is something that you know, you want to curb. Uh, it happens from time to time. It happens in tortoises. It happens in turtles. So this pond, you can see, um, I've actually got a pretty ideal situation. We've got this pond, which is just about maybe 1,500 gallons. Uh, it's a completely separate water source and everything, filtration. But right over here, uh-oh, look at this, guys. I've happened along at the right moment. Look at this. This is uh, impromptu information. So. We gotta help this one out. There you go, flipped over. And this was a male, just what I suspected. Here's the deal with amboinensis, and I learned this from my friend Paul Vanderskow. I've got a lot of shallow water. You really want the breeding to take place in deeper water, because what happens is the males will get on top of the females and they can actually drown the females if the water is shallow enough 
for him to breathe, but deep enough for her to be underwater. Now, he's probably been bugging at her. I don't think that's happened here, but he's probably been nipping at her and he wound up flipping her over. And so we came along at just at the right moment. How cool is that? Uh, but there is a male, you can see the large tail and the concave flask on. When you do it in deeper water, both the male and female are underwater. So the male's got to come up for a breath as well. So that's the key with breeding this species. So kind of out here, it's like a natural situation. Um, so they just happened along and that's why I'm always on hand, people. I'm always here. So she looks okay, she'll recover and be okay. Now, this pond, back to your question, Lisa, this pond right here is actually um, a pond that is about uh, 2,500 gallons. Uh, look at how crystal clear that water is. This, of course, is my friends from uh, Aquascape built this pond. All the ponds here at Camp Kennan, with the exception of the natural ones, uh, are Aquascape ecosystem ponds. Uh, really nice depth. Uh, you got little hiding areas where the turtles can get away from each other. Uh, very important. Let's go submersible. I'll show you. Uh, these guys have a lot of cool areas underwater that they can kind of escape from. Now, water turtles can be aggressive. We got an Oscar right there. What's up, buddy? Uh, these guys are really fun. I love the Oscars. They're very curious fish. They love to come over and see what I'm doing. And then, of course, we've got a bunch of African cichlids in here. But I like uh, the layout of these ponds. I like the fact that these ponds are very natural, okay? Here is the Emadura sublagosa female, large female. She can be aggressive, but what happens is They've got a lot of places that they can hide uh, and get away from each other. We got this log over here, and of course we've got back over there, another overhang just under there that they can hide in. Uh, then you travel over this way. If we travel this way, you can see the turtles have even still another spot where the two Badiger borneensis are, okay? They can hide under there. So hiding places are very critical when maintaining turtles. Um, very, very important because that's going to help you guys out. Now, I would hate for you to have to get rid of one of the males. Maybe there's something you can do to create visual barriers. Uh, like, for example, we've got a rock right here. Turtle can go around there, hide, no problem. Um, we've got different areas they can go out on land. Now, what will happen sometimes with aquatic turtles that are being bullied is they'll wind up coming out of the water. Uh, you don't want that to happen for too long because they need to be in the water to survive. So very, very important uh, that you make sure that doesn't happen and that the first thing I would do is try and curb uh, that, uh, that aggression by providing visual barriers and also, let me wipe these off, and also by providing hiding spots. Now, we've got these guys. So that's your question. Uh, I hope that answers it. Um, in the meantime, let's, uh, let's let some of these guys go and I'll talk a little bit about the grandest and why I like putting them out here. Uh, and that's because we want to give them uh, a good place to kind of wander around and feed themselves. These guys are going to eat a lot of plant life. They're going to eat a lot of invertebrates and all that stuff is happening here. Look at this. Here is uh, Lisa, an Emadura subligosa female that doesn't get along with the other one. So she's gone up and out and she lives here now. So I've provided these guys, you know, with adequate space to kind of move in and out. Uh, it, just to get away from each other. Now, that may not be the case at your place, but try those visual barriers, try feeding them at different areas of the uh, pond, and I think that will really help you out because you want these animals to thrive and do very well, do a good job uh, of staying alive. So that's what I would do. Uh, in lieu of that, you may have to rehome uh, the male that is either bullying the female or bullying uh, the smaller male or rehome the large male, all right? If that's if all else fails. So that's my opinion. Uh, that's my expertise on the matter. If space is an issue, you may have to eventually rehome that one. But again, really cool setup here. Uh, you guys can, maybe you could even make a smaller pond near the big one that can become something of a refuge. I know I'm gonna be doing that with some of my crocodilian species as well to provide them an area to get away from each other if there's a little aggression going on. Again, wiping you guys off. All right, so here we are. So what I, why I'm, I'm excited about this is, uh, you know, the turtles are probably, uh, these grandis are gonna most likely stay uh, in this area. These are uh, Asian wood turtle. Uh, this little guy is uh, probably 
kind of pretty small, but uh, we're going to go ahead and put them out here anyway and just give them an opportunity to do their thing. Going to let it go right here. I'm going to let these go uh, in the shallow water. Let's see what happens. Oh no! Right over. Where are you? Oh no. There he goes. All right, little man. And you'll see they, they'll look for places to hide and they'll be able to wander around, which will be really, really cool. So look at this. They're at happy on land or in the water. And right away, this little guy is going on an exploration. So that's pretty neat. I love it. So we're going to have to just keep an eye out for these guys. Hopefully they'll do well out here. Um, I like to provide the animals with an opportunity. Look at how well they climb to these wood turtles. You can tell they're happy on land or in the water. So he's going to go off and explore. In the meantime, let's put out the rest of these little ones. All right, and see what they do. It's really interesting stuff. I love this kind of work. I love doing this. These are also the most poopiest turtles you can get. There we go. Okay. All right, so here they are. The Hyosemis grandis, the giant Asian wood turtle. There's the name, their namesake. You can look at the bottom of the plastron and they really look like they're made out of wood. Here goes one of them now. Uh, it's going under the water. I like that they have these little streams to kind of hang out in and they'll utilize that. So there it is, uh, putting these little guys out into the uh, front pond. They're really graduating today and I love that. How cool, huh? Pretty unique animal. I love them, a lot of personality. And as they get bigger, um, I'll just pull them out of here and I'll go ahead and put them in with the big adults in the main pond and the other guys are starting to go too. So again, really cool. This is kind of what they would encounter uh, in their native Southeast Asia where these guys would be uh, looking at streams, ponds, uh, and look, they're burrowing down, trying to hide. And that's just exactly what we want them to do. So really fun day and a fun video here uh, for our Ask Camp Kennan. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love answering questions. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing things a little bit different. We're gonna be giving you some content and I'm gonna be dropping these questions in so we can get more of your questions answered because we appreciate all your guys' help. So there you have it, a new format for us. And uh, look at these little guys, so amazing. All right, so we answered question and uh, we got a little work done here at Camp Kennan. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna get back and put that Mata Mata in the other enclosure and uh, that's it. Oh, wait a minute, there you go. There's a little face. How beautiful are these animals? That's why we're here, folks. We're trying to do the right thing for these animals. That little guy, look at that little guy. He's already away over here. This guy's got spunk and he's on a mission. Good luck, little fella. We'll see you in a couple of years when you get bigger. And who knows, we'll probably do a video where I'm moving them out of here and into the main pond. All right, everybody, thanks so much. Oh, thanks for your questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, as always, there'll be more fun content coming up. Don't forget, Sunday, new video. Uh, so it's gonna go, hmm, how's it gonna go? It's gonna go Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursdays. That's gonna be the new layout and the new schedule for our channel. All right, everybody, thanks so much. I'll see you soon.